Hey guys, what's up? Uh, here's another deck profile for you. Uh, it's Ojamas, probably my first real deck and first deck I actually enjoyed playing at locals and um, never really won that much. I, I would go to round two or round three or I would win a couple games in Swiss, but it wouldn't it wouldn't amount to anything um, serious because the deck, you know, I, every format, it, there's been decks that dominate and, you know, it doesn't really compete. So at best, I get fifth place or fourth place at locals. Uh, but uh, when I used to play this deck consistently and I still think it's really funny it's a great OTK deck and in this format I think you can see a lot of roaming decks so this deck actually has some OTK potential um, you know it's and it's just funny to see these goofy cards uh, win so um, if you guys don't know how the Ojamas work, blues your searcher when it's destroyed you search out two Ojama cards this can be your the field spell um, your hurricane, any of your Ojama monsters, and um, there's just a lot of plays you can set up with him. So he's you need him at three, two red, three is cloggy, and you um, you just when he's normal summon you get a special summon as many Ojamas, which means uh, rank two plays for days. I'm running two pairs of the trios just to keep the hurricanes alive and the magics alive. I run the I'm using the raccoon engine, so I'm using. Three Pompoko and three Tantan. Um, most engines usually use three Tantan and one Pompoko, but I use these as targets also for uh, obedience school, so I need them at three. And then for your tuners, I run two Terrabro, two Junk Synchron, and one uh, Mystical Beast. I'm actually thinking about changing this to two and Fable Terrabro to one, so um, I'll do that as soon as I get myself another copy. So basically your tuners are used with obedience school and from the hand to set up for crazy synchro plays. Um, this deck actually has a huge uh, utility of synchros and I, actually I'm missing a couple right now because I've either sold them due to uh, pricing or um, because I was building a different deck at the time and I kind of neglected this deck but I'm making a return to this deck just because uh, a lot of the cards got reprinted um, and I'll talk about the extra deck uh, when we get there. I'm running two MST because back row is back row. Uh, three magic to get your trios in your hand. Uh, this is my own personal tech. It's the Ayers Rock Sunrise. Basically lets you special summon um, beast monsters from your graveyard. So you can grab tuners back and keep on making tuner plays. And uh, basically, and it reduces the attack and defense of your opponent's monsters. So it's overall you're going plus no matter what. And it's great. Uh, country uh, lets, lets you go plus. You can send pitch magic to the graveyard, um, grab the three trio, and then grab your hurricane and your red. So basically, it sets up an amazing play if you can just, as long as you have an Ojama in the graveyard and you have a magic in the hand. Um, so that's like a plus six in theory. Obedience school is obedience school with a beast, uh, beast core deck. It's just too good not to run, especially with these low level effect ones. A hurricane, it's basically a heavy storm and a Raigeki, but with uh, a re with the tri trio requirement, but that, you know, the trio's m doable and it's makeable, so, you know. And then for your standard uh, traps, uh, bottomless compose, uh, and I run two Royal Decree because I this deck can't afford to be stopped by something like Vanities or, some, or anything else. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Wiretap, nor am I a big fan of Trap Stun. And so for the extra deck, uh, you run one Gachi, or what? Well, I should probably go through the synchros first. Um, for your synchros, you run. There's a huge toolbox that I'm using, and I actually just splashed it with other synchros I have lying around. Uh, cards that I definitely would run is Unicorn, because Unicorn with Fabled Cerebro is easy to make with. Um, the obedience school and it's just a goofy card it kind of it negates all sorts of stuff as long as you can work around its effect uh you just have to have the same amount of cards in hand and uh if car if a deck is searching and they're going plus and they don't realize how many cards they have in hand they can activate something and it's ruined their entire play because it's they forgot to get rid of it before go trying to go off uh samsara is something i just have had laying around it's a rank five Let's me get access to their graveyard actually, which is unique, so I can actually stop some plays. 
Uh, if you're one, if you're actually go going to run Junk Synchron, it's always a good idea to at least run one Junk Warrior. I'm planning on getting rid of one Katasser because Katasser. Uh, this is actually another thing that I just had lying around. I wouldn't run him honestly. I run one Phodon so I can go into Beals because Beals is Beals and one Fitzgerald. So the three cards I'm missing right now is Barkion, uh, Leo. Beat Naturia Beast and uh, Armades, but those all got reprints in the Return of the Bling, except for Leo, and they're all relatively cheap cards, so don't worry about it. This deck's really budget friendly. Now, this is your main source of pain. It's uh, number 64, Ronin Raccoon Sandayu. Sandayu basically is uh, it's basically Draco Sack, except for the tokens are your source of the damage, and he can't and um. It's a rank two. Uh, it's really good overall. It just synergizes nicely. So let's say they make a 3000 beater like towers or something. You can just, uh, you know, overlay defense, detach, get that token with 3000 defense or 3000 attack, bu bu um, buff up your monsters or just have it crash. And then you can go in for some serious damage. So um, yeah, this is your main source of your OTK. Your gachi boosts up your tokens and it also allows you to sit on it for a while while you uh, try and get your combo pieces. And then I'm running one Zen mains in case there's some crazy situation where you get two junk synchrons right now. But Zen mains is something that I'm definitely going to get rid of in my extra deck whenever possible. Um, so the way I feel about this deck is it's no, it's nothing serious. It's just really fun. I hope you guys enjoy playing it. If you want, you can actually build a fusion version of the deck. You know, I really do like. I actually do like playing a fusion version of the deck with a uh, with trio and just restricting them from using back row and um, their monster zones. It's it's a fun deck. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, as always, leave a nice comment in the um, comment below. Share this video. Like it. Whatever. I appreciate any support I can get. Thanks, guys, and peace.